Hey there, Joe there today. Uh, today I'm going to show you to switch the headlights out in a Grand Am. Uh, this one's mine currently, um, but there's plenty of videos out there how to polish headlights, but these ones are just too far gone. So, got some nice shiny new projector lenses to go in. And also, as regular headlights and have the halo halo ring wiring so they're a little more involved than just swapping a headlight but I'll show you to do the first part of it so like I said they're kind of fogged out and once cracked so time to replace them so the first part is we gotta remove this plastic shield here so the easy way to do this I just take a side cutters slide underneath the plastic part pull up on it don't cut them just get underneath them and pull up and come right out Once your plastic piece is all free of the clips, pull up in the center, and they kind of clip into the sides. So to remove one headlight, all you do is get two pins here, pull up on them. Make sure the pin's pulled all the way out to get the bottom piece out. And then what I do, just kind of look at it. Richard signals from it. There's some wiring clips, and now the wiring is free from the actual headlight itself. So the first thing I do. You're just going to test fit connections. Now we're going to pull back tape on the headlight. Set the headlight there. Go turn your lights on. So now it's time to test with the headlight in general just to see if it fits. You gotta make sure this is moved to the right position. Know your pieces and try not to damage any of your wiring. Headlight for the most part does fit in place. We need a little bit of fine adjustment. Okay, now that we've established that the headlights fit, what we need to do now is figure out the wiring. Um, like I said, normal headlights, they will just plug in along with the turn signal piece, but you get your halos, halo lights, two white LEDs, and the two side marker LEDs to wire in. So as for the halos and the white LEDs, I've chosen to run a separate harness to run both of them on both headlights. How I'm going to do that so I'm going to run wiring into this fuse so that it is still fused to 10 amps. But what we're also going to do is with the multimeter, I decided, figured out that the 12 volts comes from the right of the fuse. So we're going to run the wire in along with the left side of the fuse so it still holds a 10 amp fuse. And if it blows, we don't fry the lights or the radio or anything. So that's a challenge for right now. After wiring in the marker lights, we gotta figure out which one is our positive, which one is our negative. Cut your old pigtail off. 
Give a little bit of something to reconnect to at some point in time if you ever go back. Then we need to strip them. Wires are stripped. Tie these ones together. So you always want to just pre-wire stuff, make sure it works. I know the two yellow amber lights that came with the light will now function properly. I'm going to turn them off and then solder them in. tape up your connections when you're done. So now the two yellow LEDs are wired in. So now with one wired in and installed, it looks pretty nice. Got to run the got my positive wire and my ground wire going. Gotta run this to the other side. Right here and behind the headlight mount. What I'm going to do is hide this under the plastic cover that goes on it so you won't see the wires and I'll electrical tape them so they're safe on contact points. Um, all this stuff now. So all this stuff now is remember I just tied the halos on the bottom and these two LEDs over here and do one single positive connection and ground connection and that's what these wires are and the turn signal bulbs are going to be wired in separately along just like the other one then the headlight just goes in and needs to be adjusted so now again you got the two LEDs and the two halos take all the red wires I like to route them up over here, and the white wire of the LEDs I'm going to strip them a little further back than what they were before just because they weren't stripped much Give them a little touch of solder just to hold them together. A little touch of solder on there. They are one piece. Just for safe measure, a little bit of electrical tape around them. I wanted these to be able to come in and off the headlight, so today I'm wearing a spade bit. Spade disconnect bit. I'm going to crimp that on now. Going anywhere? Electrical tape that to the rest of the wiring just for safe measure to hold it in place. That wire. Now we're going to do the same thing with all the grounds. Take your two black grounds and the black ground on the lights. Make sure your other wiring is free of the light, on the light, and I'm tucking this stuff right behind here. So again, you get your three black grounds.
piece. So now, your positives and negatives on the headlight wiring are done. So we're going to come back over to the car. We're going to wire up the quick connect on the positives side of the harness I've built make sure your wire is nice and straight and again you don't have to do this you can just wire it in I'm just making this so it comes apart again. So now, with the positive and negative side together, Now we have our wiring for the headlight all ready to go. Putting the headlight in is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to put the headlight in. We take the headlight, take your two pieces, or two marker lights, install them. Make sure headlight wiring is up. Bring a turn signal and install that. Move that marker bulb out of there and take the wiring you just did make sure it's all wrapped above your adjuster this black one here and positive into the positive cable obviously grounds together so all that wiring off to the side your main headlight connection it goes in right here and you can shorten the wires if you need to I just kept them this long just so I can pull the headlight out if I ever need to again and this one's kind of tricky because you have to get this bottom black piece in there into the lower slot as you get the upper slot in as well. So you pull up on your slipper right there, the lock piece.
So now that the headlight's in place, you can see the seal is not really correct. So what we're going to do is adjust the headlight. A small torque spit. Right on the top adjuster. Just get it so it looks good. Probably have to adjust the lights at night. So there are the headlights installed. Now it's time to finish up my harness. Right now I just have the ground wires hooked to each other. What I'm going to do is actually hook into this bolt as a ground. So what we have to do is split this one right now. Using a wire stripper, do not cut it. I squeeze the wire stripper in just a little bit. Just do some slow movements. Use a razor blade too and just split the case a little bit. And now, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to run two wires tied into it into the ground with a larger piece as a protectant. <clears throat> Solder the crap out of this thing. I'm going to take this bolt out. So now everything should be hooked up. Test the halo circuits. And we have halos and LEDs while the lights are on. Isn't that neat? It's not with it all hooked up. Check headlight operation. Headlights work. The turn signals bulbs work. So you gotta make sure those turn signal bulbs work. We'll do the high beams now. So everything is operational. So now that we've acknowledged that they work, I'm going to finish up the wiring, hide it, cut zip ties, and just get the wiring so it's all around good. Thanks for watching Joe the Auto Guy. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also check me out on Facebook. My email is down below, and I'm on Twitter now, too. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you. Have a great day.